Hey everybody and welcome back and today have I got a treat for you. We're talking again about the RetroPie emulation station and today I'm going to show you how to get PSP games working on your RetroPie setup. <laughs> Now this is experimental and it doesn't always yield the best results, some games run really smooth and some games run my absolute dog turd. There is a compatibility list and I will pop a link in the description below so you can check it and see if you're wasting your time or not. As you can see from the list we're still in the early stages and there's a few more well known games that are completely unplayable. The only thing you're going to need for this is some PSP ROMs, the accepted formats are .cso, .iso and .pvb. First thing you need to do is install the emulator on your setup, so we go to the RetroPie menu, go down to RetroPie setup and press A, then we go to manage packages, manage optional packages and find the PSP emulator LRPPSSPP, try saying that really fast, PPSSPP. The reason I use the LRPPSSPP emulator is because it uses the RetroArch setup, meaning the controls are already configured and a bunch of other options are available to help you configure some settings and try and get the games to run as smoothly as possible. There it is, click OK. Then click Install from Source. I always find that this way is more stable and a lot better than installing from Binary. This is going to take about 20 minutes or so to complete, so sit back and get an episode of Friends or The Simpsons or whatever cool hip sitcoms are out these days. Once it's finished, back out the menus and reset your RetroPie. So now all that's left to do is to add the ROMs, so again we go into Windows Explorer and type backslash backslash RetroPie into the address bar, enter, find the ROMs folder, find your newly created PSP ROM and drop in your games. So today we're going to look at three games to check out how they run on this PSP emulation. We're going to look at Family Guy which according to the compatibility list has issues but is okay to run. Then we're going to look at God of War Chains of Olympus, which according to the compatibility list does not run at all, so we'll see how far we get with that. And then we're going to take a look at Lego Indiana Jones 2, because that one apparently, according to the list, runs okay. You see, it's a bit glitchy. As you can see, when the game is running, it's pretty smooth when there's no cutscenes or anything. The next game I'm going to try is God of War Chains of Olympus, which according to the compatibility list is completely broken and won't work, so we'll see. I can already tell by listening to it that it's going to be nearly impossible. Frames moving so slow. Oh god, that's terrible. Oh, I'm done. That's just. slow. Nope, unplayable. Next one is Lego Indiana Jones 2 which according to the compatibility list runs like a dream. I love the Lego games, my favourite ones were the original Star Wars ones, they've got a bit too convoluted for my liking. Last one I played was the Marvel Super Heroes Lego game and Lego The Hobbit. I thought they were fun but just too much is going on with them now like swap characters, swap abilities, it's Oh, we fell. Rebuild it. Peg up, blood. Oh, and we swapped. So that appears to be running like a dream. So as you can see the results are varied on this so definitely check it out and see if it's worth wasting your time or investing any time trying to make a game work when it simply won't work. 
The PSP itself is probably really cheap and it's a brilliant emulation machine in itself if you know how to load homebrew onto it. I've searched the forums for tips on how to make the emulation better on the RetroPie, but as of yet there's nothing concrete and nothing's really worked or like twigged for me. I'm going to go through the settings myself and if I find anything, you will be the first to know. I've also discovered how to run Nintendo DS games on this system and I'll be sharing that with you as soon as I've got my head around it. Basically that's all I've got on the topic right now, so if you've liked this video please consider smashing that like button or throwing a cheeky thumbs up at the screen, two thumbs up and saying I like this video. If you want to see more videos then consider subscribing, I've got my RetroPie tutorial series in full swing right now. I occasionally buy like nerdy knockoffs and bits of tech out here that you've probably never seen before. I'm currently looking at some sweet mobile gaming controllers, I just played PUBG on the iPhone X and the Samsung Note 8 and I was really impressed with how they played considering they were on a phone. I'm also considering doing a few more gaming news about Chinese gaming culture because Tencent Games, the guys that own 40% of Fortnite and the guys that made the PUBG mobile port, they're making huge pushes forward to compete with Steam and trying to take over the gaming world. But all of that is another video for another day and I've got to go water my tulips and daffodils. So as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.